I'm Aaron Nagler. I'm here with Chris Burke via Skype for SI.com, breaking down the Oakland Raiders in the 2016 NFL Draft. Chris, the Raiders spending all this money in free agency. Obviously, they had to. You gotta think, has McKenzie's moves here ensured that he won't be boxed in by need in this draft? I think if we haven't already, we've got to start giving Reggie McKenzie due credit for what's happened the last couple off seasons because now they go into this draft, they don't need to reach for need, but they're in good enough shape at the moment where they could reach for need. I'm not suggesting the Raiders are a Super Bowl team by any means, but they're also not desperate anywhere. So if they feel a little weaker somewhere, I think they can reach if they want to. Alden Smith can't even apply for reinstatement until November. Does edge rusher still figure into McKenzie's draft plans in 2016? Probably. I mean, it's a spot where you want to be as deep as possible. And without Alden Smith, they are a little thin there. And with Mario Edwards, too, he had that neck injury. They're still not entirely sure when he's going to be 100%. So you've got Khalil Mag, you've got Bruce Irvin. That's about as good a starting point as you're going to get off the edge. But you want that third, fourth, fifth pass rusher just so you can come in waves after these guys. I think they will look for someone somewhere. I don't know that it's tops on their list, though. Now, Oakland signed a corner and a safety, Sean Smith and Reggie Nelson, respectively, in free agency. That said, would you put corner or safety as a higher priority for the silver and black heading into this draft? I'd probably put cornerback up there. You know, you have Sean Smith, David Amerson, TJ Carey, almost make you forget about that DJ Hayden pick, but you're still taking a little bit of a gamble banking on Amerson, banking on Carey to continue their play over year after year. So I, I think that's a spot where they will look to bring in at least one more body who could challenge the start. Switching over to the offensive side, would you be surprised if the Raiders used their first round pick on Ezekiel Elliott if he falls to 14? Uh, not even a little bit. Uh, I mean, I think at that point you're talking about, to me, he's a top 10 player, Ezekiel Elliott. So at 14, you're getting value. Uh, Latavius Murray was really good for them in spurts last year. Zeke's on another level. You just upgrade that run game in a huge way by going from Latavius Murray as your one to Ezekiel Elliott as your number one guy with Murray as your change of pace back. I think that's uh, just completely changes the complexion of that Oakland offense. And who are some prospects the Raiders might look at on day two to help bolster their defensive line? Well, they have a couple big bodies up there in Dan Williams, Justin Ellis. They want to go to a similar player, Malik Collins from Nebraska, someone who kind of fits that bill, maybe a nose tackle type with some athleticism. Chris Jones would be really interesting if he slides into the middle of day two. Players that come from relatively big time programs and have seen a lot of experience against some of that top level talent and produced. There you go, Chris Burke. He's breaking it down for the Oakland Raiders in the 2016 NFL Draft. For Chris, I'm Aaron for SI.com.